Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight, this evening, for your presence, Father God, for your people. We ask, Lord, now that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide us, teach us, instruct us. We thank you in advance for victory in the word by the demonstration of your Holy Spirit, Lord, as you rightly divide the word of truth. You are a source of strength tonight, Lord, in the preaching and the teaching of your word, understanding and being doers of the word. And we thank you for victory. We ask that you rebuke the devour, Father God, for our sake, that we can hear your still small voice, that we can stay alert and attentive to you, Father. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Good evening to each and every one of you here this evening. Praise God. Amen. Open your Bible, if you would, to Hebrews chapter 8. Praise God. I want to thank everyone in here tonight. Thank all the ones who, amen, who have tuned in, amen, on Facebook, man, amen. But thank God for you all for sharing mm -hmm. um, the teachings, amen. We are in this expository teaching in Hebrew that you enjoy, expository teaching. Uh, this is the place to be that means to go verse by verse through the entire epistle. Amen. amen. That's what we do here. We've covered... Uh, Galatians and um, Colossians and we're now in uh, um, Hebrews we've also covered Romans so if you enjoy expository teaching sticking with the word amen verse by verse to the end of the letter amen this is the place to be amen. praise Lord and share it with others so we find ourselves here in chapter 8 of Hebrews amen and we'll pick up here in verse 10 Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 10. Uh, just be, let us be reminded, I mean, Apostle Paul, the author of this uh, epistle by the power of the Holy Spirit, I mean, encouraging the Jewish Christian to continue to go on in Christ, amen, and under the grace of God, amen, not to go back, fall back due to persecution and to the law and the Levitical priesthood system um, of serving God and worshiping God. Um, because they are to go on now because of what Jesus has done for each and every one of us, amen, in the body of Christ. Amen. Romans 10 and 4 again tells us that Christ is the end of the law mm -hmm. for righteousness sake, for those who believe. Amen. Yes. So we can't perform our way to righteousness in God. Christ is the end of the law for performance, amen, for righteousness, for those of us who believe. Amen. The Apostle Paul is encouraging the saints encouraging you and I to continue to go on for there are false doctrines even today mm -hmm. false teachings and false teachers that are arising and amen and uh, confusing the saints and misleading some of the saints so we need to go on in God amen? amen amen so here we are again he's encouraging them now by the covenant a new covenant let's pick up in verse 10 for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their heart. No longer on the tablets of stone under the Mosaic law. Mm -hmm. The Ten Commandments and the ordinances that follow. Amen? Mm -hmm. God said, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. Amen? And we have the Holy Spirit of God to help us, amen, with the word of God in our hearts and in our mind, amen, to bring those things to our remembrance, to teach us and instruct us, amen. Yes. He will, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their heart, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people, amen. And Apostle Paul here is quoting Jeremiah, yes. Jeremiah 31. I mean, it was long prophesied before the, the Apostle Paul's day that this was the purpose and the plan and the will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That he would put the law, his laws into the mind and the heart of the people. They were not to remain on stone tablets under Moses. Amen. They were to progress and grow in God. And God will move on inside of us. He lives on inside, but we are the temple of the living God. Mm -hmm. Let's pick up here in verse Amen 11 now. And they should not teach every man his neighbor. What is he speaking of here? He's speaking of the, uh, uh, the teachers of that day, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, and the teachers, the one who had access to the oracles of God. Amen? Because he previously said, I'm going to put my law into their mind and into their heart. Amen? And I will be their God. They should be to me a people, and they should not teach every man his neighbor before God himself will be in everyone's mind and in everyone's heart. Amen? Amen. 
Amen. This new covenant is, is, is about relationship. It's a relationship. Amen. I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. Amen. The, the New Testament way, the new covenant way is about re relationship. Having a personal relationship with the Lord. Amen. For the Lord lives in us in our heart and in our mind. And they should not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother. Amen. Because we have the Holy Spirit. Amen. He's a, a teacher and, and we have, amen, uh, the word of God that we have access to. We have access to the, amen, holiest of holies now, amen, that under Moses and uh, Aaron and the Levitical priesthood system, under Aaron's son, the Levites, amen, they did not have access as we have, amen, mm -hmm. in this new and living way. We can come boldly to the throne of grace, amen. Mm -hmm. Listen now, they should not teach every man his neighbor. Speaking to the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, and the teachers. For we all now have access to the oracles of God, to the word of the living God. Amen? Amen. There are teachers in the church. Amen? That's a title. That's a, a gift from God that he's given to the church. Amen. Along with pastors and teachers, evangelists, prophets, and apostles. Amen. So it's not saying we, we shouldn't have teachers or we wouldn't be here tonight because God has gifted me to what? To teach. It's a gift from God by the Holy Spirit. Amen? Yes. But God has put in, in all men's heart and all men's mind, amen, mm -hmm. his laws. You, we have it there, amen? Mm -hmm. A teacher can add there too, amen, and bring enlightenment and illumination. But the word of God says, I will put my laws into the mind and, and, and write them upon their heart, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. But we are to honor and respect the gift of teaching. Amen? Yes. Amen. For in, it tells us in uh, 1 John, you don't have to turn that, write it down, 1 John, don't be alone. And 1 John chapter 2, verse 27 says, But the anointing, let me read verse 26. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. See, there were deceivers. Mm -hmm. See, there were deceivers even in this day. But the anointing which you have received of him, see, the anointing, the Holy Ghost, the anointing which you have seen of the Father, amen, mm -hmm. and the Son, he abideth in you. And you have not, you have need not that any man teach you. See, we we have a God uh, 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 living in us. He lives in our heart and in our mind. And, and the scripture says, the anointing which you have received of him abides in you, liveth in you, dwells in you, he remains in you, and you need not that any man teach you. We should be, amen, children of God, but we should be mature in God. Yes. We should be on the meat, amen. We need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things, and is true, and is no lie, and even as it has taught you, you shall abide in him. And even as it has taught you, you shall abide in him. This anointing yeah. that we have received from the Father by and through his Son, Jesus. Amen? Mm -hmm. that, that abideth in us, that lived in us, that remains and dwells in us 24 hours a day. Amen? Amen. Lord, amen. Amen. You have you have uh, uh, you have need not that any man teach you. If you just open the word of God for yourself, amen. Mm -hmm. You can become a teacher yourself. Or in earlier in Hebrews, the scripture says that some should have been teachers themselves, but they were what? Still on the milk. Mm -hmm. Some of them should have been teachers, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of us should be teachers, amen. Mm -hmm. If we just understand that He dwelleth in us, this anointing lives on the inside of us, and he will teach us and instruct us in the way of righteousness. Amen? Amen. Amen. Listen now, go back to Hebrews 8 and verse 11. And they shall not teach every man his brother saying, I'm sorry, every man his neighbor, and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. They shall not teach. See, in the Old Testament, the Old Covenant required teachers to explain, amen, to the people, the requirements of the law. And it was 
a lot of requirements. Yes. Amen? Amen. A lot of requirements that the people might obey. So they had, they had teachers and, 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 and scribes, amen, to help bring people understanding, amen? Yes. But under the new covenant that we have, amen, yes. Jesus, amen, only requirement for you and I is to understand that we have been saved by grace mm -hmm. through faith, amen? Yes, yes. And he is our, our sacrifice, amen? Yes. And we need to praise and thank God for his son Jesus, amen? Mm -hmm. And what he has done for us, amen? Our requirement is to believe and be sure. Amen. To receive, amen? Yes. His only begotten son. The Bible tells us, amen, in, in Ephesians chapter 2, and verse 8, for by grace are ye saved. Mm -hmm. Not the requirement of the old covenant under the Levitical system. And they were persecuting the Jewish Christians of that day for they were being saved, but they were not maintaining uh, um, the old covenant way of worship and bringing the blood of bulls and goats. For, for the new uh, 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 convert understood that Jesus' blood Jesus' body was sacrificed for our sins. Yeah. So they were being persecuted, amen, for by grace are you saved through faith, not by the blood of bulls and goats, amen? We've gone over that many times, and we'll probably go over that again tonight, for it's all through the book of Hebrews, amen? Yeah. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. Yeah. Our salvation is not of ourselves, amen? Yeah. It, is a, it is the gift of God. Our salvation is a gift of God mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen? Amen? It's not a work to say in the verse 9, lest any man should boast. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. We can't boast. It's a gift. It's of grace. And what are we? Verse 10, we are his workmanship. Mm -hmm. yes. That word workmanship, that means his masterpiece. Mm -hmm. We're God's masterpiece. Mm -hmm. In all of his creation. He said we. Those of us that are made in his image and his likeness. Let us make man in our image and our likeness. Yes. We are the masterpiece of God. We are his work machine. Workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now we can do good works. Mm -hmm. We can stop the dead works of the old covenant. The dead works of the old covenant, the bringing of, 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 of bulls and goats and other sacrifices, amen? We can go now to good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen? amen? I thank God for, amen, that we are saved by grace. I thank God that, amen, we have this anointing living in us. Yes. And it's not limited to a few mm -hmm. scribes and teachers, Pharisees and Sadducees. Amen? Mm -hmm. It's not limited to rituals. Right. It's not limited to geography or certain nations or people. Amen. But it's for all men. Amen. They're coming to him by what? By grace. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Listen now. Go back to Hebrews 8 and verse 11. And they should not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. Amen? Amen. See, under the old covenant, under the law, mm -hmm. access to God was limited and what? Restricted. Look at chapter 9, Hebrews 9. And verse 7. Hebrews 9 and verse 7. Okay. Speaking of the priest going into the tabernacle. Let's start in verse 6. Now when these things were thus ordained, the priest went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing service of God. But until the second went, the high priest alone once every year. See, it's limited. Mm -hmm. Under the old covenant, everything was limited and restricted. It was limited. Only Aaron 
The first high priest of Israel could go into the second, amen, can go behind the veil. He went to the second, the high priest alone, once every year, not without blood. See, he went in with blood, but it was the blood of bulls and goats. Which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. Amen? Mm -hmm. See, there were limitations and restrictions in the old covenant. But under the new covenant which you and I live, there are no restrictions. Mm -hmm. We have access to come boldly to the throne of grace. Amen? Amen. To obtain mercy and help in our time of need. Yes. Amen? Amen? Can you imagine just waiting a year before you <laughs> see God in prayer? No. We can come, amen, any day, any time, any place mm -hmm. of the year. Amen? Thank you, Lord. But now all come to God, and we all have come to God, and we all have come to God through his son, through our Lord and Savior. Amen? We all have come to him. We can enter into the what? True sanctuary. Yes. We can enter into the holiest of holies. Let's look at it. There it is right there in, in chapter 8, verse 1. We, we covered this earlier in this chapter. Because we have come to God through Jesus Christ, his son, amen, the savior of the world. Listen now, it says in, in chapter 8, verse 1. Now, of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum of it. Okay? This is the, what it is. We have such a high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of majesty in the heavens. He's, what is he saying here? I have proven to you that our high priest of the New Testament is greater than Moses. Mm -hmm. Moses was a servant in his house. Amen. Jesus is a son over the house. Mm -hmm. In chapter 1, it, it tells us that Jesus is greater than angels. Yes. He's greater than the Levitical priesthood. He's greater than all the Old Testament amen, prophets. Amen? Mm -hmm. So this is the sum of it. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. He, he sat down. Yes. He's a minister. That word minister there also means priest. He's a, a minister of the sanctuary. Listen now. And of the true tabernacle. Not the one made with hands. Mm -hmm. Not the type that was given to Moses. Jesus, the son of the living God, he's our high priest. And he's the, he's the priest of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle where the Father lives. Yes. He's in the Holy of the Holy, which the Lord pitched, see, which the Lord pitched and not man. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Look at verse 3. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Mm -hmm. They are appointed. If you're a high priest, you are appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. And the Old Testament priests, they offer gifts and sacrifices for their, own, for their sins and for the sins of the people. Wherefore, it is of necessity that this man, speaking of Christ, have some, somewhat also to offer. What did he offer? What did, what did our high priest offer? He offered his body and his blood. Yes. Once for all. Amen? Amen? Forevermore. For the sins of the world. Amen. For you and I. Yes. When we were what? Without strength, it tells us in Romans 5. Mm -hmm. We were ungodly. We were sinners. Mm -hmm. And we were at enmity against God. And our high priest who resides in the sanctuary and the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched, he offered himself. Amen? Yes. He offered himself, his body and his blood for you and I. Yes, Jesus. Amen? Amen? Amen. Listen, now verse 4 says, for if he were on earth, if Jesus was on earth, amen, when he was on earth, he never went to the holiest of holies. He didn't have a right to. Listen up. He didn't have the right to go in there. Listen, for if he were on earth, he should not be a priest. Why? Because he was not from the tribe of Levi. In order for him to go be a, a priest, he had to be from the tribe of Levi. Je Jesus was from the tribe of Judah. For if he were on earth, he should not be a priest. Seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law. See, they were all there were priests still offering gifts according to the law at the time of the writing of the book of Hebrews. Amen. Jesus had, amen, been born into the world. He had 
crucified, died for our sin, amen, entered back into heaven, amen, and they were still offering gifts according to the law. And that's why we have this book of Hebrews, amen? amen. Uh, uh, the Apostle Paul is trying to correct this, amen? Yes. Amen. Listen now. Praise the Lord. It's very important that we get this. Yeah. Go back to verse 11. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, I will put my laws into the mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother says, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Do you know him? Mm -hmm. yes. Do we know him? Yes. Amen? Amen. We got to know him for ourselves. Yes, yes. Amen? Amen. We got to know him for ourselves. Mm -hmm. A word no is a word of intimacy. For mm -hmm. there will come a day and a time, he says, away from me, I never knew you. Mm -hmm. We want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servants. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. We want to know him. Yes. Amen? Jesus, amen, we came into the, the sanctuary. And we could come into the sanctuary, we could come into the tabernacle because, amen, of, of his relationship with the Father. And the Father relationship with the Son. And the Bible tells us that the Father and the Son, they are what? One. Yes. Amen? Praise God. Jesus uh, says in Matthew 11, uh, uh, 28, that Come unto me, all you that labor in heaven labor, and I will give you rest. Amen? And when we come unto him, we come unto him because of the work of the Father. Amen? Yes, because, the, because of what the Father has done, he has drawn us to his son. Look at John 6. The Gospel of John Chapter 6 and verse 44. And it reads, No man can come to me, Jesus says. See? You came to Jesus because of what the Father did for us. Mm -hmm. Listen, no man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. Mm -hmm. The Father working. Yes. The day you stood up and Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. It's because the Father drew you to come to his son. I, I share with, with, with the congregation Sunday that that word draw means to what? To drag. Mm -hmm. I, I share with the, uh, the house of Sunday how I had to be dragged. Amen. Amen? Amen? That word draw means to drag, to pull in. <laughs> Amen? Yes. I had to be dragged and, and, and and pulled in, amen, by the love of God. Amen. Over and over, my father continued to ask me to come to church, come to church, come to church. I said, I'm coming, Dad, I'm coming, Dad, I'm coming, Dad. I was lying every time. I had no intention of going to church. Amen? But he just kept after me. He just wore me down. I said, let's go to church. Went to church one time. That was my goal. One time for this man to leave me alone. My father, Deacon Williams, he's going to be at the Lord now. But amen, I went one Sunday with him and I haven't stopped going since. But the Lord had to drag me, had to pull me by his love to get me in the church. He had to pull me, the Bible says in Jude, that some will be saved out of the fire. Amen? You know how Daniel was saved out of the lion's den? Some, some had to be saved out of the fire. The Lord Amen. Pull me out of the fire. Amen. He had to drag me out of the fire. Amen. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. Remember now, that word draw there means to drag, to pull. Amen. We don't, we, you know, when you're in sin and the devil's not going to give up easily. Amen. And, 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 and we love that sin, so you know it's not going. It's going to take more than a sermon. Amen. It's going to take more than a prayer. Mm -hmm. It's going to take God himself drawing you, pulling you, dragging you. That's how we come to the Son, because of the Father. Amen? Yes. 
And then the, the son turns around and says in, in uh, um, chapter 14 and verse 6, John 14 and 6, mm -hmm. amen, that no man cometh to, to the Father but by me. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, the door is straight and narrow. Amen. We came to the Son because of the Father drawing or dragging or pulling us mm -hmm. by His love. And now that we're saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, Jesus says in, in John 14 and 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Praise God. Amen. amen. Know the Lord. Praise God. And in John chapter 12, in verse 32, Jesus says, and if I be lifted up, if I be lifted up from the earth, mm -hmm. see, speaking of his cross, if I be lifted up from his earth, withdraw all men unto me. By his cross, by his crucifixion, by Calvary, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. I withdraw all men to me. The Father and the Son working as one. Praise the Lord. Know the Lord. Do you know the Lord? Do we know the Lord? Yes. Go back to chapter 8. He, uh, um, Hebrews chapter 8. Amen. We will dissect each phrase and, of each verse. And this is expository teaching. This is expository teaching. To explain, to bring illumination. And they shall teach. They shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, Know the Lord. It's about, see, it's about relationship. No one had to, amen, uh, 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 be, hold my hand like a child so that I know the Lord. Once I came into the church of God, once I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I set out, amen, aggressively, consistently, to know the Lord for myself. Amen? Amen. Once uh, you're saved, amen. God's not going to take that, that he, the, the same way I had that hunger and that thirst and that drive to be the best what I was doing in the world, you know, lifting weight, playing basketball, you know, going to work, doing what the world say do, amen. I had that hunger, that thirst, that drive. I was self-motivated. No one had to tell me what to do in the world, amen. God didn't take that away from me. Once I received my first Bible, amen, I, I, I dived into it. No one has to tell me, call, know the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. I, I, I knew, amen, that I had to know the Lord for myself. Mm -hmm. I spent time with the Word of God every day. Mm -hmm. Day by day, hours by the day. Looking into the Word, even this day, amen? Mm -hmm. And I, 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 we, we're in a relationship. Go to Matthew. Know the Lord. No one should have to tell a mature Christian, know the Lord. We should know the Lord. Amen? Mm -hmm. We some of us should be teachers by now. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul says in Hebrews. In Matthew chapter 7, And we'll pick up in verse 21. Matthew 7. Wow. Verse 21. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, listen to what Jesus said, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then when I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Amen? Mm -hmm. Therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and doeth them, 
I will liken him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock. Let's build our house upon a rock. Let's not build a sand house. You ever been to the beach? You ever watch the kids and grandkids and nieces and nephews build a sand house? Amen? And the waves come in and wash it away. Let's build our house upon a rock. Amen? So we can what? We can know the Lord. Amen? Because when the rain descended and the floods came and the wind blew and beat upon that house, it fell not the house that's built upon a rock. Amen. For it was founded upon a rock. Yes. Now the house that was built on sand, they identified as a foolish man. Mm -hmm. I liken him unto a foolish man, it says in verse 26, we built this house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the wind blew and beat upon the house. What is rain, floods, and wind? Trial, trouble, and tribulation. Sin and love. Mm -hmm. And beat upon that house, it fell, and great was the fall of it. Amen? Mm -hmm. So we have to have our, our relationship with the Lord to know the Lord built upon the rock. And Christ Jesus is our rock. Mm -hmm. Know the Lord. Not know of Him. Mm -hmm. Know the Lord. I desire to know more of the Lord, amen, year by year. Year by year, I want to know more of the Lord. We got we to continue to grow in this relationship, amen, with the Lord, amen? amen God. Praise the Lord. Look again, if you would, at chapter Luke, go to Luke. Luke chapter 13. Yes, Luke chapter 13. Wow. And we'll pick up here in verse 22. Luke 13 and 22. Jesus, look at verse 22. Luke 13, 22. And when he went through the cities and villages, teaching, see, there he was, teaching. He went through the cities and the villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Amen. As he's making his way to Jerusalem. Then said one of them, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Scribe to enter in mm -hmm. at the straight gate. Right. Scribe. Yes. Effort. Mm -hmm. For many I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, know the Lord. Many, he says, will seek to any end and shall not be able. Now, this is the Lord saying this. There are many who will have an expectation to go into heaven and will not be allowed to. Many, I say unto you, will seek to any end have a desire, have an expectation, and shall not be able. Amen? Amen. Let's go to the Lord. Let's make sure our relationship is in right standing with the Lord today. Amen. I don't, I don't, I don't like surprises. <laughs> I, I don't like surprises now. I surely don't want a surprise <laughs> in the ever, everlasting. Amen. I don't want a surprise in eternity. Amen? Amen? Amen. Look at verse 25. We got to have a right relationship. So we got to scribe saying. Look at verse 25. When in Luke 13, 25. When once the master of the house is risen up and has shut to the door, mm. and you began to stand without and to knock at the door, mm -hmm. saying, Lord, Lord, open it to us, he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not. Whence are you? Or where you come from? Where are you coming from? Mm -hmm. You know, in the days of Noah. What was it? Eight people mm -hmm. were saved. See? Eight people. I'm sure when the floods began to come and the rain fell from heaven and, and the floods from uh, Amen, the earth began to rise. I'm sure it was many people out there beating on that heart. Mm -hmm. But the Lord is the one closed the door. Yes. Listen now. Verse 26. Then shall you begin to say. 
We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. See? Because we have a we come to church. But he said, say, I tell you, I know you not. I know you not whence ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. And there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. See, when you shall see Abraham, mm -hmm. Isaac, mm -hmm. Jacob, mm -hmm. and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves mm -hmm. are thrust out. Mm -hmm. There's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first, and they are first which shall be last. See? Mm -hmm. Amen. The last that shall be first are those, amen, who did not have the oracles of God, mm -hmm. who did not have the word of God, the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. and, there, and there are first which shall be last, those that had the oracles of God and the written word of God, those who were entrusted with the word of God, they would be last. But the Gentiles, amen, and the foot of the Gentiles, all Israel will be saved, amen? amen. But some will be last. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we know the Lord. Yes, know the Lord for yourself. Yes. Don't make light of your relationship with the Lord. Amen. amen. It's one thing to have a relationship with the church mm -hmm. and with your pastor with the, and with the congregation. You need to have a relationship with the Lord. Amen? Because I want us to know I don't, I don't like surprises. I, I'm not into the weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen? Mm -hmm. All I want to hear is, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Come on in. Yes. Here's your ten cities. Ah. Amen? Praise God. Let's go on now. Go to Acts chapter 19. Thank We're talking about know the Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. We know this passage of scripture very well. The seven sons of Seba. Amen. Y'all know that passage of scripture? Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. The apostle Paul, God is working special miracles by the hands of Paul. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's healing the sick with handkerchiefs and aprons and diseases are departing from the people. Evil spirits are being cast out. Amen. Acts 19. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pick up here in verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, those are wandering Jews, exorcists, <laughs> took upon them to call over them with the Lord, which had evil spirit. They called them over to them. The Apostle Paul cast them out. These vagabond Jews, seeing the power of God upon the Apostle Paul, took upon them to call over them, which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We are Jew you by Jesus, whom Paul preaches. See, that's, that's not someone who know the Lord for themselves. Mm -hmm. We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached. Amen. It's not about what your pastor preached mm -hmm. and what your pastor teach. Amen. You got to know the Lord for yourself. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. They're going to cast out demons by the Lord who Paul preaches. Mm -hmm. Listen, what happened? And there were several sons of one unseeable, a Jew. These are Jewish boys. And he was a chief priest. He was a chief of the priest, which did so. And the evil spirit, listen now, answered and said, Jesus I know, mm -hmm. Paul I know, mm -hmm. but who are you? Mm -hmm. wow. See, know the Lord. Yes. The demons know who the Lord is. Yes. Even in the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus several times had to quiet the, the demons from sharing with the people that he was the son of God. Here's a, a demon in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in one who says, and, and Jesus I know. The demons know who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. Paul I know. The, G, the demons know those of us who are rightly dividing the word of truth. Mm -hmm. Preaching and teaching the word. Living the word. Being doers of the word. The demons know. Yes. They can look into this realm of life we live in and see, amen, who's living for God, who's true to God, amen. Mm -hmm. They know who has the power of God and who does not. Jesus I know, Paul I know, who are you? Mm -hmm. See, titles don't impress demons. <laughs> titles are your father. They don't care who your father was in the church. Mm -hmm. Don't impress demons. We know Jesus, the son of the living God. Yes. What is your, what, who are you? We know Paul. Who are you? 
They knew that these seven sons were phonies. That they were without power of God. What happened? Verse 16. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. This one man with this one demon beat seven sons, beat them, that they ran out of the house naked. See, if you don't have a, if you don't know the Lord, remember we're speaking of know the Lord. Having a position, having a title, having credentials, going to seminary school, it's not enough. The demons know who has the power. Demons know who has the power. Amen? If you want that power, that anointing that abides and lives and dwells in you, you want to keep it active. You want to, amen, keep that word in you. But I, because that's what the word, that's what the anointing will use the word. Yes. That's what Jesus used, that his temptation with the devil. Mm -hmm. It is written. It is written. Amen. It is written. Amen. That's how we overcome the devil with what's written. Amen. Study to show thyself approved. Amen? Praise God. I'm not looking to be one of those seven sons, amen? I'm not looking to be defeated by one of uh, 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 one of those demons. The demons know who I am. They know who you are. They know whether you have power, the anointing, or not. Go to James. Know the Lord. In Hebrew, the apostle Paul is encouraging the, the, the Jewish Christians, know the Lord. We're moving away from the old covenant, from uh, the Levitical priest and that system that came with it and the law that came with it. The, the, law, the law and the Levitical system came together. They're one. Mm -hmm. you got to know the Lord for yourself. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. James chapter 1. Mm -hmm. And look at verse 21. James 1 and 20. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity or excess of naughtiness or excess of evil and receive with meekness the engrafted, the implanted word. See, receive this word. How do you receive it? With meekness, which is able to save your souls. This word is able to save your souls. Amen. Because it is the word of God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. This word has life. It's more than just letter printed on paper. Amen. It can save your souls. Yes. Amen. Amen? Amen. Which is able to save your soul. Receive with meekness the engrafted word of God. Which is able to save your soul. But be you doers of the word. See when we receive the word. We got to be doers of the word. Yes. We got to live this word. Be you do a little word and not hear it only deceiving your own self. Mm -hmm. If you want to know the Lord, remember that phrase now we picked up, we left off on in Hebrews. Know the Lord, see, you can deceive yourself. Yes. That's what Jesus said earlier in the Gospels, that some will, amen, many will expect to come in, but there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I, I never knew you. Don't deceive yourself in your relationship. Know the Lord. Amen. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Listen, verse 23. For if any be a hearer of the word, we have, we have many hearers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some people just sleep, sleep with somebody. I heard some saints say, yeah, I go to sleep with the word. They leave the word on while they sleep. Mm. What are you receiving? Mm. Nothing. You need to be awake. Yep. Don't deceive yourself. Mm. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, listen, he is like unto a man beholding or seeing his natural face in a glass or in a mirror. For he beholds himself, he's looking at himself and goes his way and straightway forget what manner of man he was. Wow. You look in the mirror, you see something out of order, mm -hmm. you look at it, and you turn and walk away, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. 
You got to fix it. Yes. And what is the mirror for you and I? The word of God. Look at, look at verse 25. But whoso looking into the perfect law of liberty and continue it, remain therein, yes. live therein, and he being not a forget for here, we have here and we have forget for here. They can't remember by Monday what the preacher talked about. You know, I used to have a little Bible class at work on Monday. And I asked some of the in the group, what did Joe, because I didn't want to do all the talking, what did Joe Pastor talk about? Let's hear what, what's going on. What did he talk about? See? We can't be forget for here. Be not a forget for here, but a doer of the word. This man should be blessed in the deed. See? You'll be blessed. Amen. And the ultimate blessing is when you walk in Jerusalem. Amen? Amen. 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 I thank God that I know the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And I got to continue mm -hmm. to know the Lord. Amen. We're never fully, completely, <laughs> amen, going to graduate from the school of God. Mm. We got to continue to know the Lord. Amen. Go back to Acts. Wow. The Lord says, I'm going to put my law in their mind. I'm going to put my law in their heart. I'll be to them a God. They shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least, wow, unto the greatest. Amen? Mm -hmm. For all shall know me. It's about a personal relationship, thanks again. Mm -hmm. Having a personal relationship with the Lord. Amen? Amen? Mm -hmm. Being, amen, faithful. Being faithful to the Lord and, and, and uh, uh, demonstrating that faithfulness. Living out that faithfulness. For all shall know me. Amen. Mm -hmm. What level of knowing are we on? I want to know him to a higher and higher level. I'm not satisfied Amen. Just on this level. I want to know, I want to know the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to put in some work. I'm gonna have to spend some some hours with the Lord. It's, it's not about 15 minutes and 30 minutes. I've been saved decades now. I've been saved in 1995. I, it's time I should be on the meat. Mm -hmm. I should be teachers by now. Look at verse 12. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness. Listen now. And their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Wow. Isn't that great? Yep. Under the new covenant, our sins and iniquities will be remembered. What? No more. Amen. Under the Mosaic law, what the Jewish Christian was returning to, there was no completeness of fullness of forgiveness of sin. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. Only under the uh, new covenant, amen, by grace under Jesus Christ did we receive forgiveness of sin. Amen? Yes. The sin and the iniquities I will remember no more. Yes, under the Mosaic law, it was not fulfilled, it was not accomplished, but under Christ Jesus, amen, yes. it's provided, it's paid for what? In full. Amen? amen. amen. Let's look at it. Let's look at uh, 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 some scripture on that. Yes. Chapter 10. Hebrews 10. What are we speaking to? Our sins and iniquities, the Lord said, I will remember no more. Praise God. Listen. Chapter 10, Hebrews 10 and 1. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. See, the law had a shadow. Mm -hmm. was a shadow? was a type. was an outline mm -hmm. of good things to come. Mm -hmm. And not the very image of a thing. Can never with those sacrifices which they offer, see? Can never with the sacrifices that under the Mosaic covenant by the priest and the Levite could never with those sacrifices which they offer year by year continually make the comers there too perfect. 
didn't remove the sin. It did not what? Make them what? It did not make them what? Perfect. Amen? Praise God. Look at verse 2. For then would they not have ceased to be offered? See, if those, if those sacrifices of the Old Testament, Old Covenant, could have made one perfect, then they would not have ceased to be offered. They would continue to be offered. Because that worshiper, amen, because that the worshipers once heard should have had no more conscience of sin or no more awareness of sin. Amen? Yeah. See, when we confess our iniquities, the Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 1, amen, about confessing mm -hmm. God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, amen, yeah. and to cleanse us from unrighteousness, all unrighteousness. We, we should have no more awareness of that sin. But under the old covenant, the Bible says they could never, with those sacrifices, which they offer year by year continually, make the comers there to, there unto, perfect. It could not make them perfect. Amen? Why? Because it tells us in, in Hebrews 7 19, listen, it tells us in Hebrews 7 19, for the law made nothing perfect. Amen. Hebrews 7 19, the law made nothing perfect. But the bringing in of a better hope did. All right. Amen. Jesus brought in a better hope. Thank you, by which we draw near unto God. Yes. We can draw near unto God. In the Old Covenant, on the Old Testament, they couldn't draw near to God. Only Moses. They were instructed to stay at the foot of the mountain. But now we can draw near to God. Yes. Amen. Yes. The law makes nothing perfect, saint. But the bringing in of a better hope did. If the law could make one perfect, amen, they would not have ceased to be offered. It could make us perfect. Because that the worshippers, one person should have had no more conscience of sin. Amen? Mm -hmm. But they continually had conscience of sin because they had to uh, make sacrifices every day because of sin. Mm -hmm. But we will get there. Let's go on to verse 3 first. But in those sacrifices, the sacrifices that the, the priest made under the old covenant, but in those sacrifices, there's the a remembrance again. Made of sins every year. Why? For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sin. Mm -hmm. So listen now. The blood of bulls and goats, all the blood of the bulls and goats that were sacrificed in the Old Testament under the Old Covenant did not take away the sins of the people. Mm -hmm. But it did. It covered it. Yep. It didn't take it away. They had to wait until Jesus yes. shed his blood yes. for their sins to be fully and completely, to be made perfect, for it to be taken away. Thank you, Jesus. They, they offered the blood of bulls and goats yearly, annually, daily, mm -hmm. but it, it never took away their sins. Listen now, for, look at verse 4. It is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats, and that's all they offered in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. the blood of bulls and goats, it's not possible that an animal's blood can take away sin. Amen? Amen? Amen. Look at verse 10. Verse 11. Then, I'm sorry, verse 9, forgive me. Then said he, Lord, come to do thy will, O God. Speaking of Jesus. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. See, the, the first, the old covenant, is, should be taken away, saints. We should not be struggling about what we're going to do with the old covenant. It's got to be taken away. Amen? Amen? Now, the Old Testament, the old covenant has a purpose, and I've shown us that many times what's the purpose of it. It came because of sin. Mm -hmm. Amen? I don't have time tonight to go through those passages tonight. Amen? Mm -hmm. Listen now. Look at verse 10. By the which we are sanctified, he takes away the first that he may establish the second. Listen. By the which Will we are sanctified, we're made holy through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. We're made, we're sanctified, we're made holy through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Not the blood of bulls and goats. All the Old Testament saints, 
You and I today, whoever in the future will come to God through Jesus Christ, amen, they are made holy through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Amen. Look at verse 11. And every priest, talking about Old Testament priest, standeth daily ministering, offering oftentimes the same sacrifices. They offer the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. That's the third time that's the third verse I've shared with you here that what occurred under the old covenant could never take away sin. Amen. The blood of bulls and goats. Yes. Amen? Amen? Look at verse 12. But this man, All right. this man, Jesus, after he had offered one sacrifice for sin forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. See, the Old Testament preacher said in verse 11, Every priest standeth daily ministry. They had to stand. Jesus sat down. His work was done. Amen. Amen? What did he say on the cross? It is finished. Yes. He sat down. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice of sin himself, his body, he just told us that in verse 10. Mm -hmm. After he said it is done, it is finished, he offered one sacrifice of sin forever. He sat down on the right hand of God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Look at verse 17. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Amen? Amen? Now where remission of these is, see, where forgiveness of sin is, there's no more offering for sin. There's no more offering for sin. Amen? We, we don't have to make a sin offering in church. There's no more offering for sin. Because Jesus offered, amen, his body once for all. Amen? Amen? Over and over and over again. He offered himself. Amen? Amen? Let's finish up. Let's finish up. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and iniquities will I remember wow, no more. Amen? Amen. Christ, remember our sin no more for his, amen, for his name's sake. Amen? Amen? He's going to not remember our sins mm -hmm. and he's not going to bring them up. Mm -hmm. You ever had someone say, mm -hmm. forgive you? Then you get into another misunderstanding mm -hmm. agreement they bring it up? Mm -hmm. so, so God's not going to bring it up. Mm -hmm. God is going to, he's not going to remember, he's not going to bring it up. Amen? Mm -hmm. He's not going to bring up our sin at the judgment seat of Christ. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. He's not going to say, oh, uh, uh, Claude. Now, you get me in, but let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. That right there? That, see that? Well, you did that in 77. Mm -hmm. That almost cost you. He's not going to bring up our sin. Mm -hmm. He's not going to remember anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. he's, gonna, he's not going to remember, and he's not going to bring it up. Not at the at the uh, judgment seat of Christ. Amen. At the judgment seat of Christ, it's about what? Rewards. Mm -hmm. yes. It's about him coming quickly and his rewards are with him. He's not going to bring up our sin. Amen. Our sins have been forgiven. Yes, Lord. And he will remember them no more, so that means he will not bring them up again. Yes, He's not going to bring up our sin. We don't have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ with our knees knocking. Mm -hmm. Because he's not going to bring up what? Your sins. Wow. Or mine. Thank you, Jesus. Because the blood of Jesus completely cleanses us from our sins. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. So let's finish up in verse uh, uh, 13. Praise the Lord. I'll write down Ezekiel. Uh, we don't have time to go there tonight. Ezekiel 20 and verse 14 and 22. And Ezekiel 39 and verse 29, it tells us uh, how God forgave the people for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. For his name's sake. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. yeah. He's forgiven us for his great name. Listen now, verse 13. In that, let's close it out. He said, a new covenant. Listen now, I will remember. Uh, I've forgiven you of your sins and your iniquities. I'll remember no more. Verse 12. In that he said, a new covenant 
He has made the old, the first old, and all that which decayed and waxed old is ready what? To vanish away. And it vanished away when? In AD 70, when it was destroyed, the temple was destroyed. They had nowhere to go and offer the blood of bulls and goats. Amen? Mm -hmm. it, it vanished away then. When they, when they, it vanished away when they rejected Christ. And, and finally in AD 7 when the temple was what? Destroyed. Amen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was destroyed. It was still up at this time. But there were priests in that day offering, making offerings. A blood of bulls and goats, but AD 70, it was destroyed. Amen. Mm -hmm. That which decayed and waxes old is ready to do what? Vanish away. Mm -hmm. It should be made what? Obsolete. Mm -hmm. Good as dead. That's what when I looked up that word, that's what those are the phrases that you use. It should be good as dead. For salvation. Mm -hmm. for, for forgiveness of sin. The old covenant is good as dead. Mm -hmm. It was never intended for salvation. It was never intended for Forgiveness of sin. Amen. 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 We are the new covenant. Amen. 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 And we still wait on that last enemy to be defeated. Mm -hmm. What is that? Death. Mm -hmm. That's what it tells us in 1 Corinthians 15. The last enemy is death itself. Amen. Yes. So we are under the, the new covenant. We wait on that last enemy. To be defeated, amen? amen. And I thank God for, amen, defeating our last enemy. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Defeating our last enemy. He has the keys. We can celebrate. Amen. We can thank God. Amen? amen. Thank the Lord. Let us not be like some of the Jewish Christians clinging to that old way. Mm -hmm. We have much more information and revelation, illumination. Let us not go back clinging to the old way that the Apostle Paul dressed over 2,000 years ago. We can't go back, amen, under what is decaying and vanishing away and try to, uh, to come more righteous with God. What we have to do, embrace Christ. Amen. Embrace the new covenant. Amen? Amen. We got to continue to grow in God. We got to continue to uh, know God. Yes. Know the Lord. Know the Lord for yourself. Amen? Praise God. We have to, what? Now, you have to examine yourself. Mm -hmm. That's we're closing. You have to examine yourself. Are you growing? Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Pastor doesn't know. Your brother or sister doesn't know. You know whether you're growing in God. Mm -hmm. God knows and you know. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because it's a relationship. Yes. Amen? And it never is complete mm -hmm. until Christ returns. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll all continue to grow until we meet the Lord in the air. Amen? Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we're not doing anything that's making us spiritually weak or spiritually ineffective for God. Let's not be lazy and slothful. Let's not, amen, uh, um, not take it seriously, our relationship with the Lord. Amen? Mm -hmm. Let's not get... We're in well doing, you know, 20, 30, 40 years in the church, 50 years in the church. Church, sometimes you can get uh, 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 weary and well doing. You can, the excitement is, is, you know, you heard that song, you heard that prayer, you've heard that sermon, amen? You know that scripture, you know that passage, you, you've heard that passage, you've heard that evangelist, you've heard that teacher, amen? Don't get weary and well doing. Let us continue to do what? Know the Lord. Amen. If you find yourself, being weary and well doing, and you find yourself not as interested and not on fire with the Lord, amen? Let me tell you what you have to do. You have to do like the men on the road to Emmaus, who thought the Lord, after his death, did not know they were walking with the Lord. Let's find out who you're walking with. Who are you walking with? That's hindering your, your growth and whether you know the Lord. Who are you walking with? You got to walk with the Lord. So you can get back on fire with the Lord. He, he dined with them and he spent time with them and, and he shared with them all the scriptures concerning himself. Amen? Yes. 
And, and when he vanished out of their sight, they said, did not our heart burn when he spoke to us? So you need the God to speak to you again. Yes. Amen. You remember when you were first saved? Yeah, you heard the pastor, but you heard God. Yes. And your heart did burn. And you were excited about the things of God and the people of God and the house of God. You need to start walking with the Lord again. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ask the Lord to come walk with you again. Amen? Amen. So your heart can burn again. Our heart can burn again. I desire for my heart to burn. Yes. We got to learn to examine ourselves. You know what the scripture says? Mm -hmm. Examine yourself. Examine your heart. Is it on, is it on fire? Are, are you indifferent to Sunday? What's your, what's your enthusiasm on Sunday? What's your enthusiasm? You know, know the Lord, know the Lord. What's your enthusiasm on Sunday? What's your enthusiasm on, on Wednesday or, or, or if you have midweek service or whatever day it may be? Examine yourself. How do you feel on Sunday? How do you feel on Wednesday? How do you feel throughout the day knowing there's church today and church on Sunday morning? Are you excited to come and know the Lord, to be among uh, the people of God. The Bible tells us we haven't got there yet in chapter 10 uh, uh, to forsake not the assembling of the, ourselves. Amen? Yes. As the matter of some is. But we need to be here exhorting one another so much the more as you see the day approaching. We see the day approaching. We got to know the Lord. Yeah. Let's make sure our heart is burning. Mm -hmm. That's what one of the men on the road to a mail said. Did not our heart burn? Yeah. Praise God. I want my heart to continue to burn. Mm -hmm. Amen. How do you get your heart to burn? Jesus is the word. Amen. Yes. But the, amen. The first Timothy tells us, amen, that uh, uh, that Timothy, the apostle Paul, was passing the mountain. He told Timothy to to read until I come. Mm -hmm. Told Timothy to read until I come. First Timothy four thirteen. In Second Timothy two fifteen, he told Timothy, study to show thyself approved unto God. Mm -hmm. Read until I come. See, there's growth from reading to study. It's a difference between reading and study. Amen. First Timothy, he told him, read until I come. Second Timothy, he told him, study to show thyself approved unto God, whether I come or not. Amen. You study to show yourself approved unto God. Why? That you can know the Lord for yourself. Give God a praise. Amen. I thank God for you tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that you enjoyed this expository teaching tonight. Amen. I ask that you go to YouTube. And that you will find me there, uh, United Covenant House of Prayer, YouTube, United Covenant House of Prayer. If you enjoy expository teachings, uh, share me with others. If you know someone enjoy this type of teaching, keep us in your prayer. And we will keep all of you in our prayers. Amen. We thank God for you. Father, in Jesus' name, we give all praise, honor, and glory unto you. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for this word. We thank you for salvation. Help us to grow, Lord. Hide this word in our heart. May this word cleanse us, wash us, purge us, and make us in your image and likeness that we can walk as your son Jesus walked as we walk out these doors tonight. Father God, you are uh, always with us, for you dwell, you live in us, and we thank you for walking with us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise the Lord.